So for today, I like to share a quote that I learned and combine that with a story that I read yesterday. Um, so this is a quote um, that I, I saw in a whiteboard and somebody took a picture of it and posted it yesterday. That's how I found it. And it said, if you don't heal what hurt you, you will bleed on people who didn't cut you. So if you don't heal what hurt you, you will bleed on people who didn't cut you. Bante, we can't hear. disconnected I think the connection got lost yeah uh, so actually connection is still there but the volume went so low to the point that uh, it was hardly um, audible that Can you hear me now? okay now it's a little bit better let me increase the volume to the max that someone else joined from GLB Bihar account and when that happens the voice goes down okay all right now we are fine thank you is it clear, is it clear? it's clear now because that account is no longer here <laughs> so I saw Harold was trying to increase the volume as if oh what happened all of a sudden <laughs> so um, so what the quote that I shared is um, something I saw that said, uh, something I saw in Facebook, it said, if you don't heal what cut you, you will bleed on people who, uh, if you don't heal what hurt you, you will bleed on people who didn't cut you. <laughs> so if you don't heal um, what hurt you, you will bleed on people who didn't cut you. So this combines with the story I read um, from Greek mythology. There is a beautiful, beautiful um, woman named Medusa. Um, she, she is so beautiful that other women are jealous of her, particularly uh, goddess at Athena. And uh, Medusa wanted to uh, see the sunlight so she has to, for that she has to uh, go away from where she is to where sun rises. So she has to get permission from Goddess Athena, but Goddess Athena doesn't grant her any permission. So Medusa gets very frustrated that she didn't get the permission to go see the sunlight. And she she gets mad she goes around complaining and crying and pulling her hair out and athena gets even more angry and she curses she puts a curse on uh, medusa medusa turns into a snake haired lady um, so she becomes a victim of that curse. She has hundreds of snakes coming out of her head. And she, whoever she looks at turns into stone. They freezes. So that is what, uh, what happens. So symbolically, I think her anger is shown like those snakes because the snake's way is to put the venom by attacking so that for that you have to poke the snake. For an angry person, you have to poke that person for anger to come out. 
then they they bite you, attack you, and uh, so that is what uh, that's what happens. And for freezing, I think when you see an angry person, you freeze. <laughs> Even you know in real life, you freeze. You just uh, don't know how to respond. And uh, when when someone is dealing with so much fury, that kind of a person is uh, abandoned by others because you don't really know how to respond. So uh, Medusa's story shows that women don't like other women. <laughs> I don't want to go there. But these are examples coming out from stories that when they are beautiful, when they are um, this, this is, this can be related to other stories also, that when someone has more power, when someone has more um, beauty, others may want to praise it in person, but maybe behind the back, they, they want to plot a plan to hurt this person, this other person. So, uh, and then there's another story that goes with uh, somewhat similar to Medusa's, but her name is, I think, uh, An Ansar or something that I don't exact, you know, I don't remember exact name. Um, so when, when she, she's the woman who is, uh, uh, who is perfect for, uh, what's the word for that? Weaving, or well, like stitching some, some beautiful patterns in a piece of cloth. She does it in a very fine, very, very good way. And uh, Athena, Athena is uh, challenging her, saying, I can do better. And then there is a competition. She accepts it because she wants to show that she's speaking the truth. And at the competition, um, the goddess Athena uh, draws some, uh, some pantheon, I think, some pantheon of gods. <clears throat> and uh, this woman, Ansari, she, she makes a beautiful pattern of um, Olymp Olympia mountain. And the two now are compared to find out that what was stitched by this woman is very nuanced, very detailed, very fine, you know, very, very well done. And for that, <clears throat> uh, she is, uh, she is punished that she, she, the goddess Athena gets angry and she is punished. And, um, then this woman, <clears throat> before she is punished, she wants to commit suicide, thinking that I'm, I'm humiliated for my ability and uh, I don't want to live in a society like this. So she wants to commit suicide. So that's another story. <clears throat> I don't really remember, I don't really, I haven't, I, I didn't find the remainder of the story in that part that I read. I don't know what happens afterwards. So this is again, uh, the woman goddess Athena, she has more power. She's more, you know, she's born from a high class place. So her, she puts curse on other people using her power. So this happens. And uh, the first story is very much connected to what I, the quote I read, if you don't, um, if you don't heal what hurt you, you will hurt. You will bleed on uh, people who didn't cut you. So I think when, I think healing somebody is everybody's, everybody's responsibility. So that's, that's what I, also want to highlight healing someone is everybody's responsibility. When someone is hurt, you come together 
to heal that person because if you if you if you are not healed the words you speak the way you behave will hurt the people that you know who live around you so it's best you uh, heal yourself you make that determination and wish to heal and also others who are living around that kind of a person need to support in that healing process so now i invite you all to come on video and speak about anything and everything and how you are doing <laughs> how are you Harold? i think uh, you are you need to unmute hi yeah thank you i'm doing pretty well i'm enjoying the nice weather we're having this is a good before the winter comes right is it called the indian indian uh, Indian summer, we sometimes say, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so. They can hear anything you say. So, Hamdrani, that, um, that story about if you don't heal, you will bleed on others. I think it's the concept in psychology. Um, like, it's called the projection. When you... Um, cannot do something towards the person who hurt you you try to kind of project it towards someone else it is the boy who gets kicked in school goes home and kicks the dog mm -hmm. That's a yeah. good example. I, I think it's the simple thing but Athena has a lot of problems <laughs> <laughs> sounds like it <laughs> I love that <laughs> <laughs> Right, so um, you articulated it really well, you know, uh, and that it seems like you know Athena from your readings. Yep, we are we come from the same place. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you are women? That's what is that what you meant? <laughs> I think that's what was meant during the talk. So. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, I wasn't targeting. But it, it was a very good talk. I think it just um, simply it puts things in perspective. Why some people just go on hurting others mm -hmm. without seeing a good reason, without anybody doing anything to them. They continue to hurt others just because they seem to be miserable and never yeah. heal. I think it makes yeah. much sense. So. Yeah, the poor dog goes through that thing. <laughs> right <laughs> it's, it's true very true that when somebody uh, irritates you and it's it's because of something that happened a couple of hours before in their life um, or you know it's that person is usually irritated for something that mm -hmm. you know that didn't go their way a uh, couple of hours before and I, I think this is psychologically the truest thing about human nature. You know, a boss who is having a bad relationship with his wife would go hurt all the, the stuff. All the stuff, all the um, em employees in their in his company. So this is when Dharma helps you like you look at things in a dharma eye and you heal yourself. You, uh, you don't face people until you are completely healed. And that way you close the door and you do your work inside, inner work, inner engineering is done before you, you are able to go back to your real home of speaking gently and become a source of healing for others. You don't carry the wounds and bleed on others for no reason. And it, it affects, it has ripple effects on others. It affects other people. That's why their lives are affected, their children are affected if you continue doing that. So, um, this is one but of the most the difficult, sorry, but the most difficult thing is like, um, how do you advise one to heal? Like the simple way of how would you heal? Is it just forgiving the person who hurt you? Or are there any other... I think what that helped me is forgiving plus loving kindness. 
I have to forcefully bloom the flower in me, the flower of loving kindness, and continuously bringing things about, good things about this person. And I think um, it's, it's not giving you immediate re results so that time needs to be given to your heart. Time is a huge factor in the healing. Uh, so you, you take the time, you take um, enough time until you are fully sure that you can smile, you can talk gently, that you don't come out of that place. Or you, you talk to others also. Uh, that has helped me. I have spoken with other monks. Um, some monks that I choose, maybe they are not uh, living right here with me to talk to them. Uh, this, the monks that I live with right here may not be around, so I make that call to a monk who brings examples, who, who reads books and who says, just like that story in Buddha's past life, think this way. And with that perspective, your reaction will be different. Don't send that text message. Don't send that. <laughs> don't, don't react this way. So that's, that has healed me and that has helped me to avoid a lot of problems. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Uh, one thing, uh, I think uh, what you were saying was, uh, has uh, happened quite a few times in the society in the past few years some people uh, get frustrated with some problems get get into some problems they get guns couple of guns and go out and kill so many others mm -hmm. this has happened quite a few times in the uh, past uh, few years so i think that's uh, exactly the uh, same thing because they have uh, mm -hmm. some people have failed to see in, uh, themselves what's going on and heal themselves so instead they think that the fault is uh, other from others so they go out and kill others instead you know so yeah the firearms and weapons and uh, lots of other anything that you can grab could be used against somebody this has happened um, in every place every country you don't regard you know uh, like the Nepali royal family, you know, somebody took a gun and killed all the royal members. I think it made news a uh, long time back. So it's like that. You don't care about your mother, father, relatives. It's all your end. So you haven't healed, so you, you bleed on others. Thank you for that, too. Thank you. So let's end here. Um, good to see you all and I pray that your children, your family <laughs> being healthy and you're, you are in good shape as, as we together face the pandemic. The monastery is doing fine for next week. Um, we will be away starting from uh, about yeah, tomorrow until next Saturday. So next Saturday we are not sitting together. <clears throat> you do your own sitting. And uh, also Monday, we, we will be on the road. So we can't really leave the, you know, if we were in a different location, we can do it. But we will be journeying so we can really get good connectivity and do the group sitting. And of course, some people are coming and trying to, you know, one or two people show up on Wednesday. So, we don't do the rest day meditation anymore. Please let others know. We have brought a combined Wednesday with Monday and we have made several announcements of it. So, um, and please let them know that we are no longer doing Wednesday meditation. It helps us with our schedule um, and it has really helped us in many ways. So but you can do your own sittings and find other sources and sit together. Enjoy this lovely day. Enjoy the Indian summer. Thank you. May good <laughs> things happen to you. Thank you. Thank you. May Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Saturday. Saturday.
Mm, can't be the shoulder. Mm.